because of that it could not provide the definity uh, a comprehensive list of uh, all of the like if you choose if the user ends up choosing this i want to do that if the user chooses that i want to do something else i think that's a bit of a difficult thing to do for the application so that and the application will not find out what the user selected or what was even available until the user clicks OK. So as an, as an example, uh, a typical use case might be if it's a presentation, then uh, focus to the presentation. And the capture I could say, hey, if it's a presentation, do it. And the fact that it's a presentation can be done by inspecting whether a web page is doing some things or whether it's a native app or whatever. Um, maybe there are ways to, to do it. I, I'm not quite sure. That, that's feel, that feels better in, in that respect. So it seems to me like the only difference would be that we do it like up to one second later, which you know is a window that we could shrink. And I don't think that the user would really realize if like, hey, we did it after 10 milliseconds or 250. Uh, beyond that, they might notice, yes. Uh, but basically, I'm giving you the mechanism by which the decision is made. Like capture handle means, OK, I want to, if it's this URL or this URL, or if the handle is, I am a presentation, like that is precisely what you're suggesting. As I understand it, of course, I'm sorry, I don't mean to put words in your mouth. Mm, I was more more line with Tim who was saying that it should be like in the picker. And what I was saying is that uh, picker is seems like a, a right place. And maybe there's a way for the capturer to provide some hints to help the user agent uh, provide the best picker and the best focus decision. Um, OK, uh, thank you for the feedback. Uh, I I think that uh, it's difficult for me to imagine what kind of picker there would be where, as I scroll and highlight different tabs, suddenly a checkbox would kind of change its default value. And then if I highlight one thing, suddenly there is a checkbox that says, oh, that's on. And then I don't turn it off. I just highlight a different tab, and suddenly it's on. And you know, it, it, I would love to hear a more concrete proposal in that vein. Yeah, right, I, and then more people I, on the queue. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So, um, yes, I also agree with Tim here that um, I also think there's some security concerns, and that you know, we don't have uh, that we have these. I have flashbacks to web pages that open windows and behind the browser, and I don't notice them until uh, I close my window. Um, so, but I think, um, and it's true that we do push all user agents today push the the uh, capture surface to front, which I think is evidence that this API is about presentations. I mean, that is the primary use case. So I think that is evidence that these decisions are in scope. I don't like the API here, though, because um, a, I don't think applica the application necessarily knows best. It might depend on the source that's chosen, what's going to happen. Um, but also, uh, these seem like hacks, frankly, in that uh, it's clear that get display media, uh, even though the use case is presentations, that's the primary use case, the actual tool is more of a blowtorch. And that, uh, it, it has these security properties. So the user agent is, is not fully aware of the context here. So I think a better uh, a way to approach this would be to, to elevate these concepts of uh, safely captured pages uh, that are presentations and that the user agent knows what's going on. It can make the best decision of when to push things to front or not. OK, so I, I would just say that uh, the application does know, using capture handle, what surface was chosen. It just knows it immediately as uh, we resolve the promise. And the user agent can use the very same thing. So capture handle could be used for the user agent to make a default decision if the application failed to do that. And I think that, yes, even if we say that get display media is mostly for presentations, which I don't say it is, but let's uh, accept that uh, argument for the sake of argument. Um, still, there are different slides uh, applications, right? Some of them might support being controlled from the VC, some might not. So it seems to me like a need for this. Uh, there, there is still a need for this, and we can debate exactly how to achieve this. But I, I think that, um, and I, I concede that it is uh, uh, a risky proposition, but I think that with a very short window of when you can affect the change, 
uh, it's not so risky, right? It's not like you could hold it and change focus five seconds later or five minutes later. It closes after one second. Yeah, well, I think we're, we're out. Of, I think we're out of time on this item. Okay. Yep, and we're we're into wrap up. I'll abandon my place in the queue and send comments and mail. Okay. Uh, what are the next steps on this item? Um, I can update the um, the GitHub thread with the current proposal, uh, and we can continue debating this, I guess. I mean, I, I didn't hear a lot of support for this proposal. Am I wrong? Uh, I heard three people talk, so it's like, it's not a lot of data points. Yeah. <laughs> for what it's worth, it's worth I, I think it's a solve for your problem. And I note that most most of my screen costs are not for presentations. Uh, well, but let's let's get to a summary wrap up next steps for the whole meeting. Bernard, what do you think we achieved? Uh, well, I think we presented the callback and the streams approaches uh, based on the poll. I think the next step is to have a concrete presentation at the next meeting for the callback API. API. Uh, it would be good if we have the proposal beforehand so people can review it and have comments. Well before. Well before, yeah. I think I can send it privately. I'm not sure for uh, process re reasons I can send it to the list yet. So I can check internally, but uh, if you if you want to get it, I can certainly send you the link. Yeah, we uh, we do have a process problem in uh, in uh, having the working group consider non uh, non submitted proposals. So it, if you can re if you can make a public proposal, that would make life much easier. And I also think that we're all assuming that we're only going to adopt one of these, right? Either stream space or uh, callback based. Maybe you can merge them. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> So, I mean, just without any cue, but I, my instinct is that actually neither of them are a perfect fit. And what we're going to end up with in a year and a half's time is a compromise between the two. It'll be a, a stream with some callbacks hung around it or vice versa. Uh, the more I look at it, the less it feels like either of them is an exact match for what we want to achieve. And I, I would chime in that we need to resolve other issues regardless of shape. Uh, we need to ex ex uh, resolve exposure on main thread. Yes or no? And that's that's uh, orthogonal to the discussion of shape, I think. Yeah, and there's I, a similar I, discussion I, going on. I skip that slide in the interest of time. And uh, as, as, as I said before, there's absolutely no precedent anywhere that I could find for, for restricting APIs to workers except the ones, the APIs that control workers. I agree we don't have time to discuss it here now, but I think we should discuss it. Yeah, and we have. Okay, we're out of time. Thank you for everybody. And I do apologize that I messed up the recording this time. So we'll get the recording of the end of the meeting. Okay, thank you. Thank you all. So, you. Um, Yenever, if you're interested in, um, Stain, I'm here, but uh, you know, if you're busy, I understand. Uh, I, I have to drop right now. Sorry. But we